Okay, this was not planned at all, but somehow this is also an engine covered by Treeborn. Damn you, you adorable amphibian! Oh well, it's not like anyone has a monopoly on discussion videos regarding engines in the game. With well, that out of the way, let's start with the Dogmatica engine, and after we're done, watch Treeborn's video. Dogmaticas are an archetype of light spellcaster monsters, which were introduced in Rise of the Duelist in August 2020, and quickly became meta contenders, as well as a very splashable engine. Since then, they had been present in top cuts of various online tournaments, as well as had a high winning percentage on Dueling Book. The engine has many faces, so I'm going to talk about the most popular picks for it. Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous is pretty much the main monster in the end, since it searches out Dogmatica cards from the summon, be it normal or special. Additionally, the fact that it cannot be destroyed by Battle of Monsters summoned from the extra deck can make it a bit of a wall. Dogmatica Flow the Lead and Knighted has an ability to negate monster effects. It's not a very strong effect at first glance, however, what makes it go above any other effect is the lack of the word target in the card text, meaning it can bypass targeting protection effects like what Red Eyes Dark Dragoon has. Dogmatica Maximus is just a big chunky little boy, which can also send two cards from each extra deck to the graveyard, following the engrave effects of its owner's monsters and limiting the opponent's extra deck options. What is better than a surge in the form of monster? A surge in the form of a spell. Nadir Servant is the main searcher for everything Dogmatica. It's the Rota, if you will. The cost of sending a monster from the extra deck to the graveyard can be mitigated by that specific monster. Its searching capabilities, however, are highly dependent on the contents of the extra deck. Dogmatic Punishment is the main source of disruption in the engine. Just like everything else, it requires a card from the extra deck to be sent to the graveyard in order to activate it. However, due to the fact it can destroy a monster with the attack at least equal to the sent monster, it can out a variety of threats. Presenting a base for the build of the engine is very difficult, mostly due to the fact there is none. Outside of Triple and Deus Seven and at least one of each Dogmatica Punishment and Ecclesia, various Dogmatica variants use the engine cards in any amount, from zero up to three. The smallest engine I was able to find contained Triple and Deus Seven, Triple Dogmatica Punishment, together with Double Ecclesia. While the largest had Triple Ecclesia, Triple Nadia 7, Triple Punishment, Double Fraud Lee, and one Maximus. If anything, I would say Triple Nadia 7 and Double of each of Ecclesia and Punishment should be more than enough for a base of the engine. Please remember that this is my personal opinion, the various competitive decks I was able to find use the engine differently. One of the greatest pros of the engine is the ability to use extra deck as an additional resource, not to mention the fact it can provide negation and disruption. The biggest con of the engine is that any usage of it locks the player out of the extra deck for the remainder of the turn. It's beneficial in decks that can provide some setup or play during the opponent's turn, it's still a detriment for the engine. It's best to use in controlled decks mostly due to its highly controlling nature and the competitive scene confirms it, with decks like Invoke Dogmatica, Eldritch Dogmatica, Zoo Dogmatica and Dogmatica Altergeist having tops in the recent months. When it comes to any combo decks I wouldn't recommend this engine, mostly due to the fact that combo heavily relies on the extra deck access, so a Dogmatica engine is kind of counterproductive. With all cards having only one printing, at least at this point in time, not to mention the fact that most of them are in high rarity, it's no surprise the engine is on the more expensive side. All the prices are listed on the screen. And with that we're done with the Dogmatica engine. I hope you found this video informative and if you did please remember to leave a comment, like and subscribe if you fancy. I'll see you tomorrow during the Luckly Livestream. Jacole signing out. Peace.